Unit rates are extremely useful and let's solve some problems involving them. A boat travels 60 kilometers in 5 hours, it's a constant speed. And then how far can it travel in 7 hours? In this problem we are given a rate. The rate is 60 kilometers in 5 hours or 60 kilometers per 5 hours. And then we are asked about the 7 hours. But what we can do is we can first find the unit rate for this situation. See, the rate given is this, 60 kilometers per 5 hours. Now let me write the unit rate. I divide 60 divided by 5, so I get 12. 12 kilometers per 1 hour. And now for 7 hours, I will write another equivalent rate. From 1 hour to 7 hours, I will multiply times 7, right? And 7 times 12 is 84 kilometers. So the answer is 84 kilometers in 7 hours. If 7 kilograms of raspberries cost $40.95, then how much would 4 kilograms cost? Again, we will use the unit rate. We will find the price for 1 kilogram, okay, for the unit. And then, after that, multiply to find the price for 4 kilograms. You already know how to solve this, but we will now just write it out using rates, okay? So the rate here given is that $40.95 per 7 kilograms. And we want to find, first of all, the unit rate. How much per 1 kilogram? And then after that, we will find the price per 4 kilograms. Okay, now this time I'm going to use long division for this division here, 40, 95, divided by 7. 7 goes to 40 5 times, and to 59 it goes 8 times, and then here 5. So we get $5.85 for the unit price. Then we need to multiply that times 4. Another calculation here on the side, 20 and then 34 and 23. Okay, so $23.40 is the answer. Lastly, find the rates that are equivalent to the unit rate of two-thirds of a mile per day. Okay, this is a unit rate because there's one day. The second term of the rate is one day, two thirds of a mile per one day. Okay, which one of these would be equivalent to that? These are not unit rates, but we will just do the divisions here and check if we get two thirds, right? Fourteen divided by twenty. I'm gonna simplify this rate and check if I get two thirds. Both of these are divisible by two, but if I divide, I will get seven tenths, right? That's not that's not equal to two-thirds, so this is not. Here, both are divisible by 100, and if I simplify this, I definitely will get two-thirds. It is very easy to see this is equivalent to that. Now here, 15 miles per, 15 miles to 10 days. Okay, I can simplify. 15 and 10 are divisible by 5. So I will get 3 miles to 2 days, right? This is the same as 3 miles to two days. But that's not the same as two-thirds of a mile per day. It is the three and two are flipped, so that's not equal. And then lastly, 48 miles to 72 days. Both of those numbers are divisible by many same numbers, 4, 12, 24. Okay, 24. If I divide both of them by 24, I get two here and three here. So yes, this is equivalent to that. Two miles per three days is the same as two-thirds of a mile per day. Okay, I hope this was helpful.